Hi, I'm Patrick Killeen, immediate past president of the American Academy of Physician Assistants and a member of the Joining Forces Initiative. As PAs, we know that supporting our service members and their families require a team approach. PAs practice team-based health care. PA history began in the military when corpsmen and medics returning from Vietnam wanted to advance their medical education and serve in the civilian sector. PAs continued to work with armed forces personnel throughout the military healthcare experience, serving with them on the front lines, working with them in triage and in military health systems. As tens of thousands of veterans return home, they and their families will need our help even more. Civilian PAs, the most important thing they can do is to pay attention and listen. The wellness of the soldier is paramount to the effectiveness of any family member, especially if they've been through a lot of stress, a lot of trauma. That's going to affect that family and it's going to affect it significantly. We've seen different types of things like abuse to the wife, to the children. We've seen different types of alcohol, substance abuse, those type of things that come from the soldier and those stressors that the soldier is, has not been able to address properly. It's easy to assume that you may never treat a veteran. For instance, I'm a physician assistant in pediatrics. While it's likely that I will not treat a wounded warrior, I need to remind myself every day that I am treating their children. So educate yourself on veterans' health care issues because they affect the entire family. And get involved in the Joining Forces Initiative.